vibration that we are all one consciousness and sharing with itself subjectively. There's no such thing as death. Life is only a dream and we're the imagination of ourselves. Here's Tom with the weather. I, uh, I don't know, man. I got a lot of free time, so I do a lot of stupid shit with my free time. Like one of my favorite things, I like to watch a lot of scary movies, like the Haunted House movies. So sometimes before the movie starts, it goes based on a true story. So you know what I do? I go on the internet, look at the true story to see what actually happened. And I did that all day once. I just dumped ghost stories on the internet. And then I stumbled across the best ghost story I've ever heard in my entire life. You guys can all look this up if you want to. I'm not making this up. This is called The Smurl Haunting of 1974. And this one's a little bit peculiar because Jack and Jane and Smurl, both the husband and the wife, claim to have been raped by the ghost that was haunting their house. I know, right? Kind of interesting. So I started reading further and they started listing all the shit that would happen around the house. Like, the faucets would turn on and off. The cupboard doors would open and close. The rocking chair would move back and forth. And, uh, oh yeah, fucking people would get raped. Holy shit. <laughs> That's kind of a wide range of stuff that happened around the house. I started thinking, you know what? It probably wasn't just one ghost. I think it was like a group of fun-loving prankster ghosts and one crazy-ass lunatic ghost all in one house like the real world or some shit, right? Like, we're all roommates, you know? You know, I was just like, hey, buddy, what'd you do? And one was like, man, I freaked him out super good. But he came out the bathroom, I turned on the faucets, and they're like, oh, my God, the water turned on by itself. What's going on? It's kind of scary. And I said, good, man, I like it. Hey, what'd you do, buddy? And I scared the shit out of him. When they came in the kitchen, opened up all their drawers, then I rearranged their silverware. Like, oh my god, this is where this drawer, this is where the flashlights go. This is kind of what's going on. I'm all freaked out. That's a classic. I love it. Hey, what'd you do, homie? I fucking raped him. <laughs> oh. Uh, you ever think about knocking a book off the shelves? Knocking books off shelves. You guys are pussies, seriously. Come on, who's the scariest ghost in the house? Who's got two thumbs and is fucking terrified? This guy, right? And this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part about this entire story is that they were ghost raped from 1974 to 1989. <laughs> yeah, that, that's 15 years of ghost rape. Why did they move out of the house, you ask? I think they said they didn't move out because allegedly the ghost would follow them everywhere they went even on vacation to the Poconos. Yeah. I, had to, I had to read that line twice myself. I was like, follow them on vacation. What? So basically this ghost is like, Aruba, Jamaica, ooh, I'm gonna rent you. He doesn't give a shit. So he's dedicated. And what do you do? What do you do when you get ghost raped? Or who are you gonna call, right? Yeah. Ghostbusters SVU? Yeah, I don't have a special thing to do. You're shit out of luck. Hey, my name's Patrick Garrity, man. You guys will have a fun. Enjoy the rest of the show, everybody. Thank you.